uh, Verlin Miller. I'm archivist and museum curator for the Badger History Group, Museum of Badger Army Ammunition. Uh, this building we're in was built uh, around 71, 72. Uh, it was built as a computer processing, mainframe computer processing, data processing, and a Army audit in phone center. The museum is basically the history of, of the powder plant, starting with the uh, acquisition of the farms. There are a number of farm photographs and then uh, production uh, processes in the plant. Uh, it's small. Uh, the story is tremendous. Uh, and what we have here is I usually describe as the tip of the tip of the iceberg. Um, but we try to, try to keep it, make it brief but complete. There are three rooms in this building that were offices that we're using for archive, plus there are two vaults. I have both of those full of archives. Get the numbers right. There we go. And our archive ranges from uh, printed documents, uh, drawings, uh, uh, E-size uh, blueprint style drawings, uh, and also film. Uh, we have the complete Badger Army Ammunition Plant Photo Archive estimate 30,000 images and then we also have film of uh, all the plant drawings. So we have a lot of, lot of stuff in a small space. Badger illustrates the history of the United States for the last 60 some years at least if not longer and it is the most significant historical site in Wisconsin for the history of the 20th century. It tells us more about ourselves and how we have lived since the 1940s than any place in our state. When Badger was, Badger was built, very few people other than farmers lived in the country. Now, now essentially we have a, a suburban environment virtually everywhere. That was possible because people were able to make a living, in, live in the country and make a living while not farming. Badger was, early on, Badger made it possible for rural people to live in the country and not be farmers.